It is the monthly tier list time, and this month we're taking a look at Gala Games. Gala has made MOBAs, third-person shooters, battle royale games, they even collaborated with Walking Dead for the Walking Dead Empires. We will rank them on a tier list from best to worst, and for every game that I add to the list, this balance will get a top-up. At the end of the video, I will explain how you can get that balance. It's all about Web3 games, it is all about play to earn, making money, and NFTs, cryptocurrency, also good gameplay. We cover everything. Welcome to the Mind Blow Show. I'm your host, The Inspector. Let's get the show on the road. Every single game will get around 40 seconds of time where I will explain in very short terms how it works, what the gameplay is, if they have tokenomics, if they don't have tokenomics, if they work on NFTs, etc, etc. And also I asked you guys on Telegram and we finally have 500 members on our Mindblow Telegram group, I asked you guys to rate these games. Now the game that had the most upvotes is Townstar, then we have Spider Tanks. We're gonna talk about this later on and once I finish my list, this will also go into consideration as to what game ends up where. With that being said, the first game on our list is The Last Expedition. Boom! Got a first stop up right there. Right. The Last Expedition is a game I have played. It is a first person extraction type of shooter. It is multiplayer and they say it is triple A. I wouldn't agree that it's triple A. At least it's not right now. And rating games that are still in development is gonna be a bit tough. So while I can't put it on the A tier because it's still in development, it still doesn't have the tokenomics and everything in place, I cannot put any game without tokenomics on A. That being said, it is a good game. It is a fun game to play. So it's definitely not C tier. It deserves at least the B tier. Last Expedition, B. Moving on to the Battle Royale of Gala Games Grit. Oh, okay. Balance stop up, there we go. Grit is a battle royale, it is still in development. Grit is a Wild West battle royale. It is in the beta stages and it's very close to being released. We hold Web 3 games to a much lower standard than we do Web 2 games, which is okay considering they have the earning element as well. Now Grit will require an NFT in order to play much like Spider Tanks, but it will have, I would guess, it will have the rent feature. It's not something that I have confirmed. Battle royale is something much needed in the Web 3 space a good, good battle royale and the wild west take on battle royales is also something very unique uh, therefore I can honestly put it on the B tier. Now, if we were to rate these games based on web 2 game standards, all of these would be E tier, no question. But we do not, so it's B tier. Moving on to Eternal Paradox. Eternal Paradox is a turn-based action RPG. So this is really a hybrid which is still in development. Uh, this type of game, I can totally see a large player base playing it. And considering this is Gala Games, they will have NFT support and also it will be played to earn. But it won't be free, it will require an NFT in order to play. All of that being said, it is still so very early with this game that I just cannot put it in the B tier. I don't think it has the same potential as Last Expedition and Grit, therefore it does go in the C tier, but it is a very, very strong C tier, and hopefully it'll move on to B tier later on if it proves me wrong, and I hope every single game that I say is bad is gonna prove me wrong. I'm not saying this is a bad game, I'm just saying it has some room for growth. Townstar is the next game we're gonna rate. Townstar goes into the A tier and moving on, just kidding. So Townstar is free to play, it has NFT support and this is a building simulation game. It's still in the beta stages but it does earn money for people and I guess that is why people have voted Townstar as the best gala game right now on the Telegram group. People have actually done that. So gameplay wise, it doesn't matter how you feel about Townstar. While I would put it in the B tier, the people have spoken. Downstar goes into A. And moving on to Superior and another top up. There we go. So Superior, you hunt down superheroes and you steal their powers. It is a third person shooter and it is actually a fun game. It's co-op and it is in the very early alpha stages. Well, I wouldn't say early, but it is definitely in the alpha stages. It's actually a fun game and once they release their tokenomics and you can earn in the game, I can definitely see it making waves. Right now Superior for me is a C tier game. It, it has more potential than Eternal Paradox, in my humble opinion. Definitely looking forward to Grit more than Superior. Superior does seem very interesting, but it is not my cup of tea as far as games that I would play in my free time go. That being said, moving on to Champions Arena. So this is a turn-based RPG game. Eternal Paradox is also a turn-based RPG, but this game is supposedly totally free to play with NFT support. And it will be available for mobile phones, for Windows, for web. The deck building will be a key strategy for players looking to find the best synergies. And there will be a certain amount of strategy involved in this. It will be free to earn. And I know that some 
something you guys absolutely love. It deserves to go into the B tier and actually it will go into the B tier above Grit. I, I actually like this game. I like the art style. I like everything about it. It's B tier for now. Maybe it'll go into the A tier. Who knows? The Walking Dead empires now this is an mmorpg survival game set in the world of amc's the walking dead they actually got the ip of the walking dead from amc in order to make this game which is absolutely phenomenal you go around this michonne cutting down zombies and surviving in this environment and it is with nfts it will be play to earn everything about this just screams b tier for me but <laughs> and it's actually a fun game i would put it into the b tier gala games is making waves they're making some actually good games i have never put this many games so far up the list i what game am i gonna put on d and e i want games for e tier it needs to be controversial, that's what gets views. Alright, well, it is what it is. We have three games left. We have Spider Tanks, Legends Reborn, and Mirandas. I don't think Spider Tanks and Mirandas are gonna be anywhere near D and E tier. But alright, let's see, let's see what's gonna happen. Let's actually start with Legends Reborn. Here we go, E tier. Alright, just so I have something there. I'm just kidding, of course, it is still in development. Basically, you build decks, you play with NFTs, and the game is a PvP-focused trading card game. So Gala is entering the card game space, and you guys know how big of a fan of card games I am, but before I play it, before I actually check it out, see what the real rules of the game are and how it plays, it is not gonna be a free-to-play game, and based on all of that, I'm gonna put it in C, that is very neutral, uh, C can go down it can go up depending on how good it is once i actually try it uh, for now it's a c tier it's a very it's not a strong c tier but i do love card games huge fan moving on to miranda's miranda's the mmorpg oh wow a top up okay miranda's the mmorpg it'll make strides i think it'll be an absolutely amazing game you build your own kingdom you defend it it's full fantasy it'll be free to play it's an epic world you fight against monsters and finish quests with your friends and everything about this just seems amazing now what the hell am i gonna put in the e tier miranda's is definitely not an e tier game i guess miranda's does go into the b tier but it goes right here a lot of games into in the b tier man and spider tanks final top up right here guys final top up spider tanks is a moba and now how you can win the top up you're gonna wait until the end of the video to see we have two more things to do here we need to rank spider tanks and based on the gameplay alone spider tanks is a tier for me based on the fact that it does have tokenomics is a tier for me tokenomics are not the best but they are doing an overhaul of the whole earning economy inside of the game which i absolutely love gameplay wise it is very good it is actually pretty fun and entertaining to play the graphics seem very nice and it has the original idea it is nfts your spider tanks are nfts you can also rent them out you can lease them out as well you don't necessarily have to buy the tanks in order to play so the free to earn potential is there you can't earn a lot for free right now but if their silk coin doesn't completely fail it'll all be good as long as they're working on it and developing the in-game economy i am all for it right now this is what it looks like all right there we go now to see how you guys voted first of all most votes went into town star so we have appropriately placed it there then spider tanks so we have appropriately placed the a tier spider tanks and town star champions arena is your guys's next pick so i guess champions arena is in the b tier let's see what you guys said about the last expedition eight percent of votes so i guess i i did this i did this pretty good eight percent grit also has eight percent i have placed everything fine also miranda's miranda's has no votes no one at all voted for miranda's did you guys just not see what this game does okay but no one voted for it i guess miranda's c tier it is bottom of the c tier the, the, the people have spoken i would definitely not put miranda's here but you know maybe you guys just haven't seen this game well if you didn't now you have miranda's is a fantastic game fantastic potential um this is what the list looks like right now gala games has nothing on the d and e tier i didn't review every single gala game only 10 gala games there's seven more um which are all of them are still in development we're gonna revisit this list at some point that's for absolutely sure you can visit the gleam link in the description down below and you will see this there's a couple ways to enter the giveaway or rather the airdrop let's not call it giveaway anymore so you get two points if you join telegram you get one if you follow me on twitter and you get one if you just visit my youtube channel that's how you enter the raffle i will choose the winner or rather 
Gleam will choose a random winner in a week from now, so in exactly seven days. Until then, until then, my name is The Inspector, and I'll see y'all on Sunday for a new video. Peace out.